Hello, I'm Yolanda Vasquez, and we welcome you to Comcast Newsmakers. We are here in Annapolis speaking with legislators about a number of issues that are important to them. Joining me now is Senator Ron Young from District 3. Senator, always a pleasure to have you here in our studio. It's always great to be here. Let's talk a little bit more about this um, free tuition that you want to do for community colleges. Yes. What's the What's the specifics of this bill? Okay. Um, the bill would split the cost of for tuition at community college between the uh, state and the county. Okay. On top of that would come off, uh, they have to do the FAFSA and Pell Grants and any other things, any other aid like that would come off. So it's the last dollar uh, assistance. But the bill is for vocational certificates and uh, community college degrees. We have a a real problem. I've talked to a number of builders that say they can't find plumbers and bricklayers under 55 years old. Mm -hmm. uh, not everybody goes to college and they're really good paying jobs. So if we can help people get into those fields and you know make a good living, be a good contributor, uh, then that's great. Also then way too many uh, people are graduating from college with enormous student debts and I, I often say they have a mortgage on a house, but they don't have a house. Mm -hmm. So two years at community college without tuition would help them get through college uh, without s such a large debt. Now, this is for people that whose income, family income, is twice uh, the average income. So they have to be the family income has to be under $150,000 to be eligible. So you eligible. have to qualify. This you wouldn't be qualify. open for every single person. Yeah. Okay. And, and one other real quick big thing. A lot of people say, well, I think students should have skin in the game. Well, th they do. Uh, they still have to live somewhere and eat, and they still have to have transportation to mm -hmm. get to school. So that's either with their parents or if they're paying rent. This just takes care of the tuition. And, uh, Gives them a little bit of a, of, a, of a start for them to get on the road of where they're going. I went to community college for two years, and I would have never gotten to college otherwise. And I had four sons and not a large income as a teacher at the time. And I laid out a pro program for them, and all four of my sons went to community college for two years. They all graduated from college without student debt. They've got their master's and one has a law degree. Okay, so you'd like to give that opportunity I to other folks. I want that for everybody. Our time is going quickly. I want to go um, into the slots for homeless veterans. A portion of the proceeds, you'd like to go towards that? Yeah, the fraternal clubs in Maryland are the animal clubs, as I jokingly call them, the elks and the moose and the eagles and all that. Have one at five slot machines like the veterans clubs have. So they would be allowed five. Uh, after the payouts to the winners, the first 10% mm -hmm. would go to the veterans. A hundred, the first 100,000 to the Veterans Administration to help with their communications mm -hmm. on programs to veterans, and all the rest would go to housing to a fund to help uh, homeless veterans. Uh, we're about to lose federal money. They're cutting things off there, so this is needed. We still have on an average about 600 veterans on the street a year that aren't being taken care of. And this would help them greatly. I know we're over our time, but I want to talk about this resolution where you're urging a lot of these companies to bring uh, women on their boards. Yes. Um, Maryland, uh, nationwide, 5% of boards don't have women on them, and Maryland is 30%, which is, for a progressive state, not good. So the bill is urging these boards to put more women on, and studies of the Fortune 500 companies show that the ones that have multiple women on the boards are much more profitable. So it's not only an equity issue for women, it just makes good business sense. Senator Ron Young, always good to speak with you. Thank you so much for your time. Thank you. We Enjoy appreciate it. you coming on in today. And that'll do it for this edition of Comcast Newsmakers. Thanks for watching, everybody. We will see you again soon.